Doctor. Terran overall comm protocol task set 9. Many people wonder why quite a lot of trainers and behaviorists are obsessed with the comm protocol. It is repetitive and you're looking at a 15 to 20 minute session over two weeks. Maybe even longer depending on both of your progress. Good girl. Sit for five seconds whilst you jog. However, the COM protocol is a tool that is still loved quarter of a century later because it helps dogs who are excited greeters, even nervous dogs when someone comes to the door. This time, ask her to sit whilst you walk around her. Putting the groundwork in and utilizing a mat or their bed will aid you with this whilst answering the door. <laughs> good girl, Coda. Very good. Dogs with high arousal, easily frustrated and struggle to settle. This time ask her to sit while she jog around her. Instead of a band aid such as constant enrichment in trying to settle a high energy or frustrated dog. The protocol opens up a line of communication. Readjust, readjust. Good girl. There's absolutely nothing wrong with enrichment, but in moderation. This time, ask her to sit whilst you jog around and clap in your hands. But enrichment cannot be treated as a TV for kids to come or engage a dog. Follow for part two. Doctor. Karen overall calm protocol task set 10. Dogs are able to learn through communication if they lie down or sit and chill and observe they are rewarded with high value treats. Ask him to sit whilst you disappear from view, not quickly but softly on the wall. And this brings on a lower arousal state no and a calmer and happier dog. It also helps dogs out of situations where people eye. E. Visitors such as non-loving dog relatives come around. Good boy. Ask him to sit for five seconds. Instead of one of your relatives being mardy that your dog is jumping on them, mouthing them. Poing, etc. Your dog will know to be calm and observe and frequently rewarded. Ask him to sit whilst you disappear from view for 10 seconds, knock softly on the wall and return. The calm protocol helps to change the internal feelings of reactive dogs. Being able to settle and observe other dogs or people at a distance can be a huge help for reactive dogs. This helps their feelings change to different environments if the protocol is followed efficiently. Ask him to 
Ask him to sit for 10 seconds. Lots of sport dogs use the calm protocol to help them to settle at events, especially whilst waiting, which can cause major frustration. The calm protocol can also help at the vets and help to change your dog's feelings of anxiety. And ask him to sit for five seconds. Yay, good boy. A big fuss. Follow for part three. Big fuss. Who's a little dog? Doctor, Karen overall calm protocol task set 11. Just give me a minute. Public transport, and this also reflects on the public opinion of dogs on public transport. Uh, right. Good boy. Having a calm, settled and engaged dog whilst on public dog transport will help you to not only be supported in having your dog on public transport, but also show that dogs can be chill in these scenarios. Good boy. Ask him to sit whilst you disappear from view for 10 seconds and return. Good lad. So basically, the more environments that you make a point of utilizing and practicing the calm protocol, your dog will be highly socialized to the environment in a calm manner. whilst also safeguarding them and ensuring that their mental health needs are met by being trained to be in an engaged and calm state. Good boy. Ask him to this is where another line of communication again. opens and you can see if your dog is struggling or uncomfortable. You can then act and change the situation to ensure they remain under threshold. Ask him to sit for 10 seconds. You can also use the calm protocol as foundation work and chain to control unleashed and teach take a breath and lot. Good. The more we feed into the communications toolboxes of our dogs, the more we empower and, and advocate for them. For five seconds. Good job. And then big fusses. Follow for part four. Doctor, Karen overall calm protocol task set 12. Ask him to sit for 30 seconds. For the calm protocol, you can use a mat or not. We're not always in a position to have our dog on a mat. It is great practice to use a mat and utilize one, and we do tons of mat work. However, we know dogs generally. Good boy. Some dogs are going to struggle with the calm protocol concepts if there is no mat.
Good boy, Zom Zom. If you're on a planned trip to a class, workshop or Ask meal, great you know to pack the mat view, and it can be utilized. However, if on public transport the space is tight, you're not going to be able to utilize your mat. Boy. On a walk keeping distance from triggers and observing other dogs utilizing the protocol you're not always going to be in, a position to utilize the mat. And change from sits to downs and downs to sits. Ask him to sit whilst you disappear from view, ring the doorbell, wait two seconds and return. Because your dog may not always want to sit or not always want to down. <coughs> and definitely not lie down in the rain. Zombie. Ask him to sit for 30 seconds. This is why the COM protocol is so Are great because you can adapt it for every single scenario and generalize it for your dog in so many different ways.